Yes, it's happened to a lot of us. Someone has left you a one-star Google review on your Google My Business listing, and when you quickly check who it is by, you realize that you've actually never done business with this so-called customer, and it's likely to be a fake review. The best way to handle this is to A, respond to the review. Remember, potential customers will read reviews, including your answers. So be as professional as possible, even when you respond to a fake review. And B, flag the review as inappropriate, hoping Google will do something about it. Reviews are notoriously difficult to get removed, and in most cases, Google will keep a review on your listing unless it violates their policies, which are as follow. It's not relevant to your business. There is a conflict of interest with, for example, a disgruntled former employee. It contains some offensive or sexually explicit material. There is some privacy concern or legal issue. So unless the review you are flagging fits one of these criteria, chances for it to be removed are slim. Nevertheless, it's still worth flagging a review which you think is not genuine. The only problem with doing this up to now was that after flagging a review, all you'd get is a thank you message confirming it had been reported and that Google might follow up with you if they needed further clarification. And that was pretty much it. You wouldn't know what decision would be made by Google, why, or even if they had bothered looking at it altogether and be left in the dark. Thankfully, those days are gone. Google has just released a brand new tool that displays all your reviews in one place. Not only you can use this tool to report reviews that violate Google's policies, but you can also check the status of reviews you've previously flagged as inappropriate. This is great news because from now on, you'll know exactly what Google has decided to do with the review you flagged and why. No more guesswork. To access the tool, you can click on the link I've put in the description below. Then log in using the email address linked to your Google My Business profile. Select the business or location you want to check the review status for, then click on continue. If you've never reported a review, you'll see a table that contains all the reviews that have been published for your listing. The information included in the table are a snippet of the review itself, the star rating the customer has given you, and the date it was posted. Clicking on the view on Maps will take you directly to that review on Google Maps itself. To report a review you feel goes against Google's guidelines, click on the Report a Review link. You will be taken to a screen you may be familiar with if you've reported reviews in the past. Select the most suitable option, then click on Report, after which you'll see the thank you message. You will also receive an email from Google confirming your request to remove a review has been received. So far, you might think there is no major changes to the previous process, but you'd be wrong. If you log back into the tool and select the business listing from which you have flagged the review, you should now see an option that says, check the status of a review I reported previously. Tick the radio button and continue. On the next screen, you'll see the list of the reviews you have flagged in chronological order along with their status. In this example, Google's decision is still pending. This is because reported reviews may take up to 72 hours to be evaluated, after which the status should be changed. If the review is infringing Google's policy, it will be removed and will no longer be displayed on this list. If, however, Google deems the review to be genuine, the pending status will be updated to the following status, report reviewed, no policy violation. For more details about the decision, you can select that review by clicking on the radio button and click on continue. If you are unhappy about the decision, you have the possibility of appealing so the review can be assessed a second time. You can only appeal once, after which the decision will be final. I personally think this is a very handy tool and provides much more visibility around Google My Business reviews overall. At the very least, you know where you stand and you're no longer going to waste time chasing Google about an undeserved review. This is also useful for SEO professionals out there who can show their clients they've done everything they could to remove a review. That isn't genuine. If However, your Google My Business account is linked to a large number of business profiles. It will not work, but for most of you out there, it will. So try it out. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, remember to press the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Until next time, happy marketing.